Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Let's study agriculture together. So today we're going to be talking about the cultivation practices of a sunflower crop. So now this platform is a platform which was created to help students and non-students and also farmers so that we can help each other to pursue an entrepreneurship in agriculture. So today we're going to be looking at the cultivation of sunflower crop. So I'm also going to assist you on the requirements which are needed for you to grow sunflower crop. So we are going to start with the climatic requirements. Sunflower can be successfully grown under varying conditions of day length provided temperature is favorable. The crop requires cool climate during germination and seedling growth. So we are simply saying this crop, sunflower crop, it requires cool climate during germination and seedling growth. Warm weather from seedling stage up to flowering and non-cloudy sunny days during flowering to maturity. A temperature of 15 to 20 degrees Celsius during the growing period and a temperature of 20 to 25 degrees Celsius during grain filling period are the ideal for harvesting good crop yield. For germination, a minimum temperature of 3 to 6 degrees Celsius. So we are saying from gen so we are saying sunflower crop it needs or it requires different temperatures for different processes which it goes through up to maturity. So here we are saying for germination, a minimum temperature ranges from 3 degrees Celsius to 6 degrees. Optimum temperature ranges from 20 degrees to 26 degrees and, and it can sustain or it can tolerate temperature up to 40 degrees Celsius. Temperatures below 10 degrees Celsius generally retards germination and above 38 to 40 degrees cause desiccation of pollens and drying of stigmas. So we're going to move on to the different soil types which are required. Different soil properties which are required when growing sunflower crop. Sunflower can be grown on a wide range of soils from sandy loams to deep clays. However, good drainage is more important than basic fertility because it is more susceptible to high moisture content and soil compaction. Sunflower grows well on neutral to moderately alkaline soils with, with a pH which ranges from 6.0 to 8.0 but dislikes acute acidic conditions. Seedbed preparation. Sunflower requires a well prepared deep friable seedbed for better germination establishment of growth so we are saying sunflower requires a well a well prepared deep friable seedbed for better germination establishment and growth the poor plant stand and performance of the crop is often encountered with poor seedbed conditions sunflower has an extensive root system with a combination of thick and thin roots and is adapted for low moisture conditions by way of explorative routing. So we are simply going to move on to the sowing and to the sowing depth and spacing of sunflower crop. What is the required sowing depth and the spacing? All right. Firm seed soil contact is moist soil is essential. Sorry, firm seed soil contact in moist soil is essential for good stand establishment. In situations where the top soil dries quickly or where the soil is sandy increased depth increased seedling depth may be necessary. Sunflower seeds should be placed in soil at 4 to 5 cm depth with spacing of 60 cm between rows and 30 cm within the rows for hybrids and long durations populations. We move on to the seasoning and sowing time. What is the correct sowing time for growing sunflower? Sunflower is considered as day neutral plant physiologically because of its low photoperiod sensitivity, although in Sikkim it is recommended for cultivation in Rabi. So we are saying it is recommended for cultivation in Rabi season after harvesting of rice. 
curry season may not be suitable for its cultivation because grain filling or harvesting will coincide with heavy rainfall. Seed rate. So seed rate of sunflower, it depends with the varieties and hybrids of the sunflower. We move on to the nutrient management. Sunflower is a fast growing and high oil yielding crop and thus it is expected to absorb more nutrients. Incorporate 5 to 6 tons of well decomposed farmyard manure should be applied. So we are simply saying 5 to 6 tons of farmyard manure should be applied to the sunflower in order for it to grow fast. Weed management. Weeds compete with sunflower for moisture, nutrients, and depending on species for light and space resulting in economic loss of growers through reduced yields as well as lower efficiency of other inputs used. Clean cultivation free weeds, sorry, clean cultivation free from weeds in, in and surrounding sunflower field is essential for raising good crop of sunflower. Timely weeding and interculture is a myth is a must for checking weed growth and obtaining full benefits from applied nutrients and soil moisture. Provide two hoeings followed by one hoeing, one hoeing which is hand weeding at an interval of 15 days commencing from 15 to 20 DAS. So we are going to move on to the harvesting and threshing of sunflower crop. So in Sikkim Rabi sunflower crop matures in 125 to 135 days. Sunflower can be harvested at a physiological maturity when the back of the head turns to lemon yellow color and bottom leaves start drying and withering. So these are the signs of maturity in sunflower crop. We are saying Sunflower can be harvested at physiological maturity when the back of the head turns to lemon yellow color and the bottom leaves start drying and withering. For convenience of safe drying and handling, the crop can be harvested at harvest maturity when all leaves dry. Further, delay in harvesting causes reduction in yield due to lodging, breakage and termite and red end attack. Mature heads are cut with a sickle and dried in sun for two to three days before packing to facilitate easy separation of seed. Thresh the harvested heads either by beating with sticks or rubbing or through manual or power operated threshers. The seed is cleaned by winnowing. Cleaned seed is dried for a day or two to bring the seed moisture content to less than 10% for safe storage. So what is the expected yield? which is expected after growing the sunflower under the provided above conditions. Improved agronomic practices can produce about 2,000 to 2,200 kgs per hectare seed yield of sunflower in Sikkim conditions. So now this is the cultivation practices of sunflower crop. So uh, please bear in mind that uh, after watching this video, Try to tell a friend to tell a friend about the channel. Let's start the agriculture together. Make sure you share, you like, you comment, you subscribe, and you smash the notification bell. So we can so you cannot miss other videos which are related to agriculture. Thank you so much. Have a great day.